Nebraska at Michigan. Now, this is an interesting one because the number is massive. Casey Thompson not going to play in this one. Um, it just it, the, the typical stuff, right? Michigan favored by 31 in this spot. Total is at 49. It's 3.30 p.m. Eastern time on ABC. Of course it is because it's massive brands. This was a three-point game last year. I think it was 32-29 Michigan. Don't think you're going to get that this year. Uh, the total at 49 is is a little bit surprising um, because, I mean, you were talking about at basically like a, a 39 to 10 game here. Um, just to, <laughs> some somewhere around there, right? Uh, 30, 39 to 10 or 40 to 9 or whatever it may be. Uh, just just crazy to think about. And looking at the numbers, here we're going to pull them up on the, uh, on the screen before I read off the trends here. And so I've got Michigan by 37.21 on this, which is certainly covering the spread. Uh, Nebraska 3-0-1 against the spread on the road against the team with a winning record in the last four. They are 3-7 and against the spread in their last 10 overall. Uh, Mickey Joseph's bunch, yeah, just just rough. Uh, Michigan 9-2 and against the spread, their last 11 against the Big Ten. That's not bad. They are 4-0 and against the spread at home against losing teams. So... I don't know what to tell you here. Uh, Michigan does a lot of things really well. They run the ball 61% of the time. In Nebraska, there is a big split here because they are not great against the run, to be completely honest. Yeah, we, we can look at the numbers, but like teams run the ball nearly 57% of the time against them. There's a reason for that. Um, I I expect... Michigan to hold on to the football or to the football for a very very long time in this one, and, and the reason for that is this: you look at Standard Downs PPA, just right here, Michigan number thirty four in Standard Downs PPA, Nebraska number one hundred. Uh, the PPA is predicted points added, by the way. Uh, Standard Downs success rate, that's the easiest one to look at as far as efficiency goes. Number twelve for Michigan on offense, number one hundred nine, and this is on like first and second down. It's staying ahead of the chains. I I look at this, and I see what Nebraska brings to the table on offense now, especially with Casey Thompson being gone. Against that Michigan defense, I don't know that they're going to be able to score. I, I just I, I don't see a path for Nebraska to be able to get the win here. And and for that, like I, I know that Harbaugh likes to uh, beat up on teams that he can, right? Because he doesn't let his second or third stringers... Um, let up. It, they they play hard until the final whistle, and it doesn't matter what the score is. They just keep rolling. I, I'm going to take Michigan to cover 31. Like I just I don't see a path for Nebraska here to keep this game even within you know four touchdowns. It this this is a bad bad spot, especially without your starting quarterback. Uh, yeah, give me give me Michigan at home here. I think they roll this thing up. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.